everybody, or afternoons, evenings, whichever it might be you watching. <clears throat> this is Jamie. And there is Mr. Rascal. She is seven months old right now. And that's Dixie's last kitten because we got her fixed. And he was supposed to go on with her, but I couldn't catch him at the time. And now he's just a big sweetheart, aren't you, boy? Oh, bless you. Goodness sakes. He looks a little bit like his mama, for sure. But way bigger than her. And there's Brutus over there. He came in from pottying outside. Is that a new boy? My phone is not really working very well. Oh, <clears throat> I got a lot of phlegm in my mouth right now. Your girl made the top five for the Fabulous 40. I'm still sitting in first place, so I'm very proud and very heartwarmed to say that I really hope that I can win this. I think there's only six days left, and then they're going to announce the winner. And I really hope that it's us because we could really use the finances for sure to get some things paid off and paid for. <clears throat> um, it would really help out. It's a little chilly in the house today. We've got a uh, baseboard in our bedroom that's acting up. It didn't work all last year or the year before that. And then all of a sudden it's off and it's coming on. And then, um, um, like, blowing really hot air and then it won't even work again and it's not even on so I thought maybe my husband kicked it like the little um it's got a twist lever or whatever on it and I thought he had kicked it maybe that morning before he went off to work and it didn't it wasn't that I don't think hang on I'm gonna do this real quick try to See if that doesn't help. Sometimes I'm not sure. It's just maybe the glare from the cloudiness outside, but now I got Dottie down here. And Mr. Rascal's like, let's play. But um today is November 15th, opening gun season, and I haven't heard one single gunshot today at all. It's just roughly a little after 11. I'm talking to my husband right now, actually, and um, we'll get back to you guys. Darn it. I was like, that cat's something else. Chores done, so everybody's fed, watered, topped off, if they need a grain or not. And these two, she's not got no hay or anything in there. She just built a little nest with the sawdust. I didn't give her any other hay because she still had that in there. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a tickle in my throat. And then Miss Zoe here, she isn't really, she just keeps looking in her box, that's all. She's not really done anything. So, we're just waiting, and then we've got Princess and her three babies here. They're looking good. I almost thought, I was got to looking at these yesterday, and I thought, were these supposed to have been on my butchering list? And I'm like, no. They were born the same time everybody else was that are still out here. It's just these are bigger because there's only three kits compared to, you know, seven and up. Hi, little beautiful. You're just, I'm going to call her beautiful, too. She's just, just a pretty little thingy. Something's dripping out here. I can hear it. I knew these books. There's no way I should have to be able to. to uh, fill their bucket every day. Darius, that's yours leaking. Yeah. 
something's going on. in here. This is hard to do. So I think Darius, I gotta get into your space, boy. Okay? I know you're not gonna care. But I got to find, I got to see this, yeah. Gotta see it, buddy. Gotta see it. Yeah. I think you need a new drinker, don't you? Darius, your drinker's just leaking, boy. Yeah, it is. It's just leaking, boy. We gotta get you a new one. Hold on. Hold tight. Stay there, Darius. Just don't push on this, okay? I gotta turn you guys off so I can get my stuff. That had taken me a little longer than expected when you can't see to put your zip tie through the connector that it zips with. Yeah. Let me tell you, that is a big pain in my butt. Having to do that with not being able to see if I've got the angle to the jangle or not. You know? <clears throat> but oh. I'm hoping we have time this weekend to um, clean this lean-to out my idea is to put the four girls up in the retirement pen while we get this cleaned out and then have our farmer bring us down two more alfalfa bales so then we could get one put back in here and put the other one in the barn but this needs <clears throat> a couple feet cleaned out obviously and then um we could possibly then put a couple bundles of sawdust down in here to make it somewhat dry and so they'll have a layer of cushioning from there and then hopefully this winter before snow flies we'll get some straw blot and then get that down for them too and everyone's sheds lean twos shelters whatever you want to call them but yeah I'm hoping that we can plan to do that and possibly continue working up here to get this done and um, get some more piles burnt would be nice. The clover has just really taken over. You could see the darker to the grassier area. This is all clover <laughs> right through here. And I didn't plant, I don't believe that much, but if I did, I would say almost every seed came up. I didn't get past the barn here because I didn't 
you know, think that we were going to need it. But it definitely does because we have to walk through here all the time. And when it's rainy, like it's misting out right now. My hat's all wet. My top of my coat's wet. Um, it feels cool. It's chilly. But I'm not complaining. We've got this type of weather for a good solid week still. They're calling for rain almost every day. At least a chance. And, um... My nose is running, and we will see. I took, I had this cleaned out already, so I could open this without having a problem. But, girls, can can you excuse me? Excuse me, cow, cow, come on, excuse me, excuse me, cow. Thank you. Excuse me, excuse me, girls. Excuse me, girls. <laughs> Jules, you want petted too? One girl. You want petted, Jules? Cal. She's, she always puts her head between my legs. Hi, girly girl. They're just like, hmm. She's got a low baby belly, way down there. She's deep bodied, so she carries very, very low and hides the fact that she's got triplets. This girl is very deep bodied too, but she also is showing quite, quite wide, as we can see. <laughs> this girl is not quite as deep bodied as her twin sister. Not quite as long-bodied either, but that's okay. Because she's showing a good size baby belly. Yes, Willow. Scarlet. I know. The twinnies, Ariel's daughters, who I lost this year after she gave birth. And then we have Jules, Cal's daughter. Right, Cal? So you're the old girl now. Since Odessa's gone, you're the old girl now, huh? Say, so we're hoping to get a daughter out of her, out of this breeding, which will be kept. And then I'm hoping to breed her a, to Prince to get a daughter that can be kept. And then I have a daughter out of each of the bucks, and then she can retire. As long as she keeps her body condition and shows me she's okay. And then, of course, Scarlet, or Willow here, Scarlet and Jules, they're all three the same age. So they're going to be three-year-olds come next year. And they've got quite a few more many years to give me babies. Prince up there also is a coming three-year-old as of next year. Lancelot, he is a... Four-year-old going on five, and Zeus is a five-year-old go. No, he's a six-year-old going on seven. And Cal, she'll be eight. Or are you eight now? Hmm. I've had her since 2018, so she was born in 17. Yeah, she's, she'll be an eight-year-old, so she's seven now. She'll be eight. You girls always think you got a rub on me, don't you? <laughs> look at ya. Cow, look at you smile. Girl, you've got the most personality, but you can be such a bully. Yes, you can. You can be such a bully. Huh, girls? Yeah. <laughs> Cow. She's so silly. No, we're not going in. I'm going in. You're not going in. No. No. Oh, I can get the door open. No. Stay there. Stay. 
Thank you. I'm eventually going to start bringing them up on the stand here once a week and giving them a scoop of grain to eat. But yeah, I... <laughs> He's always like, you got someone for me? You got a girl? Not this week, boy. Next week. I keep telling them that, boys. You'll have ladies next week. Next week. So. Oh, that was mushy. We just got a lot going on here. And it just takes time. Time and... and during the week, my husband's got no time. It's uh, our daylight savings time, which I just absolutely can't stand. We should just leave our time the way that it is normally in the spring. So that's how I feel about that. But that being said, by the time my husband gets home from work, it's dark. And it's late. So, like Billy had told me, he says, um, we didn't take quite the time we should have been taking to get things done this summer. We didn't take advantage of the full light of the summer, you know, because it really didn't get dark till 10 or so. That poor duck, she's she's probably not going to be with us much, much longer, we don't think. She's just dwindling away, still eating. She just can't hardly walk no more or swim. We took her down to the water hole there and she had trouble swimming, but sure did love do doing it. And obviously she's back up here. But we'll catch back up with you guys later today and uh, end this video then. Those roosters. Dixie. Get out of my flowers. Get. Go on. Yeah. <laughs>